with our Ready to Rock Hour. <laughs> okay, we've got legendary drummer Sheila E. sitting in with the band. Y'all give it up. Yeah. My next guest is another legendary woman of rock. She's won two Grammys and an Academy Award for her music. During the pandemic, she created a concert streaming service to bring live music to all of us at home. It's called Etheridge TV. Give it up for Melissa Etheridge! <laughs> What's up? I love your rock and roll room, your whole vibe right now. That's what we're doing. This is Etheridge TV, my... My wife and I um, put this together. We're in our garage. We call ourselves two moms in a garage. And we, uh, you know, we, we put it all together during kind of a healing time that we needed. And yeah. this is our vibe. Dude, your garage is way cooler than mine. <laughs> I, I need, I have like garage envy right now. <laughs> I have like a Christmas tree and some boxes. <laughs> it's like, um, so I, I actually sing. I'm the only one um, for one of our karaoke's last year. I love singing your music because I get to just wail. It's just such a freeing thing. So, do you know Sheila E? She's actually sitting in with us today. Y'all know each other? I do, Sheila. Woo! Yes. Hi, Melissa. I miss you. <laughs> I miss you. We need to rock soon. Come on. I know. Let's go. I'm coming over. Like this connection <laughs> in weird COVID times over screens. I like it. <laughs> so, well, today is dedicated to rock and roll. And um, we've asked John Bon Jovi earlier, what defines rock music for you? Well, to me, rock and roll has always been the music that we aren't supposed to listen to as youth. You know, it, it was, it, it started with, uh, being, you know, it's very sexual in nature. It's about uh, the taboos and it's about breaking the social norms. And it's, as, if, if you watch how uh, rock and roll sort of changed over time mm. and we sort of changed over time now, I consider your hip hop and rap sort of rock and roll now because it's the music that you don't want your kids to listen to, you know? Yeah. <laughs> So you, you're such a mom. So who, who were your musical inspirations growing up? Who were people you weren't supposed to listen to and you wanted to become? <laughs> right. Uh, well, Bruce Springsteen, you know, Bruce Springsteen was, he mm. just seemed to have the answers for me as far as rock and roll, you know, was going. I probably ended up somewhere between Janis Joplin and Bruce Springsteen, you know? <laughs> oh my God. I remember that time. I think it was on the Grammys and you covered a uh, piece of my heart. Holy moly. I was like, so I kind of wanted to quit because I was like, well, I'm never going to do anything like that. Like it was just, it was amazing. And, and it, it just was one of those times I feel like when we all love singing, we all love performing, but there's times when like, you don't even remember what happened and you become the vessel for something so much bigger than yourself. And that just felt like that to me watching it. It was a very healing moment for me. I was bald from chemotherapy. I had, uh, I had uh, gone through that and, and it was my first time on stage or even in front of people. I hadn't even been in crowds. I was still doing uh, radiation treatments and uh, it, it meant a lot to me to get up. And it was, it's, it was a big changing moment in my life. I, 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 uh, I, it's kind of before that Grammys and after is kind of my musical career. Yeah. And um, yeah, that was it. That was one of my top five moments ever. <laughs> oh my God. Well, that's so funny. Cause literally we have shared the stage before and I was freaking out, putting my best Meryl Streep on, acting like I was like totally fine. Yeah, oh, it's so sweet. And it's very important to me as, as I've gone through this, uh, my career, to really reach out to the women who, who are coming up and making a name. And you were just, you were yeah. just hitting your stride. You were really doing great. And, you know, you also hold that sort of um, rock and roll torch, but also you are just a down to earth person. Oh, thank you. That means a lot coming from you. Um, I, I know, I mean, it's been a difficult year for me personally. It's been a difficult year for a lot of people. Um, and, I, and I know as well for you. So how do you get through? Does music help you? Absolutely. The, the moment I realized we were going into lockdown, I, that's when I started these concerts from home. And I started them first. We were just in our office back there with that, like one little camera, one, not, you know, my phone and mm -hmm. going on Facebook, do that every day. And I would have gone longer, but uh, my son passed away, uh, lost him to opioid addiction um, in May. And that was when I, my wife and I decided we're going to come out here to our garage. We're going to um, 
build a studio that we can stream in, like a real studio. And we created Etheridge TV, where three nights a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, I I do music. I just finished uh, a, a show, a cover show about Stevie Wonder, you know, and and um, so and it's a subscription service. You go, uh, Melissa uh, Etheridge TV, EtheridgeTV.com. Subscribe, fifty bucks a month. You get twenty five shows or whatever. I, yeah. Wow. Five shows. That's it. I That's a lot. You, like you're working yeah, hard. Yeah. That's a lot of work. <laughs> that, a, absolutely. You know what? It keeps me sane. It keeps me out of trouble. And yeah. I'm playing music and I'm actually getting better. I've got, you know, guitars and pianos and everything in here. I love and it. Just, you just said I'm, you're getting better and you're a legend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting better. <laughs> it's important. It's important to keep learning. And boy, yes, I learned all about of course. and cameras and, and everything. No, of course, of course. Well, we, we have a young girl um, aspiring to achieve everything you have. She is remarkable. I mean, she's super talented. So I was wondering, will you help us surprise her? Absolutely. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, well, we're going to take you off Skype for a bit so she doesn't know you're here. Um, then um, we're going to bring you back right at the right moment, all right? Gotcha. I'll be right here. All right, all right.